check out this clip from the pre-patch podcast the, the the big boy game the game that uh myself and uh tony and enigma have all put some time into I, I've, I've put a very little amount of time into because um this game uh <laughs> kicks the shit out of me um uh because i decided to play on the fucking hardest difficulty but we are talking about warhammer 40k space marine 2 um uh spoiler a little bit because like obviously we're showing um some you know this is the very 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 start of the game correct enigma this is like the, the yeah this the is tutorial, the, this so. is the intro this is literally yeah. the tutorial okay. and this um, game's not even out yet it doesn't come out it, till it, the it ninth. doesn't it doesn't come out to the ninth we got early access yeah. to it um and we're able to play it um and showcase it so the footage you're seeing right now is, is of enigma playing um uh and and yeah so enigma i know you've been waiting for this game man like this is a game sure. that you have been like chomping at the bit for since you saw it so you've put in the most amount of time what, what is your your thoughts of space marine 2 yeah so far and, and hopefully full, hopefully i won't go robotic i don't i don't know what's going on I'm, I'm sorry about the audio quality tonight guys uh if i do go robotic i'll i'll try and stop talking and let it catch up that seems to be the case but um yeah Space Marine 2 has been something that I've been looking forward to since like it, it released. We, we first heard about it, I think, like, I want to say like three or four summer game fests ago, some, somewhere around there. And uh, we, we've I've just been kind of waiting on it ever since then. Um, we got early access into it uh, yesterday, I think like yesterday at 10, if I remember correctly. And it's been, I've been trying to put as much time into it as I've feasibly can between also having you know a, a life and everything like that um so so far i have gotten i think five or six hours into it i i've done a little bit of the co-op i've gotten through about two maybe three of the uh storyline uh sections of it i'm not going to do any spoilers obviously again that we're, we're not here to do that um it's it's fucking amazing man i i can't gush about this game enough I, I I honestly think it's game of the year for me, at least. I, I know you guys are probably gonna come at me with like, oh Wukong's better. I've never played I haven't played Wukong yet. Um, but to me, at least at this moment, I this one takes the cake for me. Just the, the gameplay, um, the graphic fidelity, like the the actual combat and everything like that. I know that you're saying that it kicked your ass, Sin. And I I it kicked my ass too. I, I was playing at the hardest difficulty as well. Um and I I could not get through the tutorial. <laughs> I, I literally could not get through the tutorial. So that's a that's a that's a uh, going consensus that the tutorial by itself, when you got to play by yourself on the hardest difficulty without help, it's yeah. it's, it's, it's almost like it's it's, 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 it's it's forcing you. It's forcing you to play with friends at this point. Like, like there's, there's no getting around that. You have to. And, play and you want to you want to talk about Souls like games? I think that the the tutorial of this on hard mode Holy is the ultimate Souls like. Fuck game. me, man. And and, and Sin, <laughs> Sin had mentioned that you can't even revert. Back no, to a different once you select yeah. it, you're once stuck. You select it, you're kind of stuck at it. I love that. I it's <laughs> fucking that hilarious, is, dude. That is awesome. I, I I actually had to restart because I was like, dude, I can't do this. I literally yeah. can't do it. it there's I, no way that I, I had to restart and and go to the uh the second to last difficulty. The not the most, but the second to last. And veteran. that was a lot more manageable. Yeah, veteran, veteran is a lot is, more manageable. Veteran is a lot more manageable than that last one. When I saw it, I was just like, this is this is bait. Like, it, it, I feel like <laughs> yeah. that last difficulty is going to fuck me. So I just like, you know what? I'm a veteran. I'm okay. I, you know? I kind of, I kind of want to go back and try the, the max difficulty now that I kind of have a feel for like the, cause that like, I don't know about you guys, but like for me, the thing that fucked me over so hard was like, I just couldn't get the, uh, the controls down. Like the controls were just in such a weird location so for me on mouse and keyboard on mouse and keyboard of course of okay course, so yeah. <laughs> okay so even even with that being said i'm not gonna i'm not gonna give you shit hold on hold on i got i got something to say about that the, the controls for me was weird on controller and the only reason i say that is you know how on on regular shooters or any game that's like this anytime you press triangle or y depending on if you're playing xbox or, or playstation you change your weapon this yeah. game however you're changing your weapon with the d-pad so yeah. I found myself like constantly pressing Y and having the issue, damn, bro, I, I can't press Y. Y is the, the damn ultimate of your whatever. Uh, your fury mode, right? Yeah, yeah, fury your Marine mode. that you're playing with, your Fury mode or whatever. So I was just like, oh, this sucks. I don't like this. But after you get adjusted, it takes a yeah. minute. And I, I think 
I'm loving this game more and more because there's a fucking parry system in this game. Yeah, I love that. I love well, that's, that. That's why. That's what I was saying. Is like, like game of the year contender, especially when it comes up against yes. like Wu Kong, right? You, people are gonna be like, well, they're two totally different games. One's a Souls like, one's a one's like an over the shoulder shooter. No, no. This game is a Souls like in, in a lot of aspects with the parry system, the blocking system, the dodging systems, right? I'm not saying it's a complete Souls like game. Obviously, Bro, it's, it's is, not. It's not a Dark Souls fucking game. sitting you ire through the internet. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> but, same, but like. Uh, again, if you play this on like some of the harder difficulties, it is fucking difficult trying to like dodge, trying to uh, perfect parry some of these fuckers. E yes. Even the little guys are hard sometimes. I'm just like I find myself struggling just to parry and, and like dodge the the little the little chaff, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I that that seems like the most enjoyable thing to me is like just trying to master the the uh, the parry system and the, and the gameplay systems. Um, once I kind of wrapped my head around them and started to be like, okay, this isn't bad. I, I, I started to be able to play the game a little bit easier, but, but yeah, no, that, that max difficulty. I was just like, this is fucking in, I, I can't do this. This I, is, this, I, this, I, there's, there's, there's no you. way. Yeah. It, it, yeah no, 100%. Yeah. Some yeah. of the questions that we're getting in chat is, are we talking like gears of war insane difficulty? Or are we talking like hardcore? No, th like th we're talking Celia, gears I of have, insane I have played every game that I possibly can get my hand on hands on on the hardest difficulty. And normally I can like figure out the learning curve, get around yeah. it and like feel competent enough to be like, Hey, I'm going to bash my head in right a little bit, but I'm going to get through this, right? Like gear to gears, uh, not gears of war, but, uh, like God of war is like, they're, they're fucking the new one. Like they're or not Ragnarok, but the one before that, you know, it's hardest difficulty was like, it was known to be just like uh, ungodly brutal Bash your head into it. Yeah. yeah. And, mm -hmm. and I, you know, I felt comfortable playing that, right? This, this feels like I am literally having a chainsaw sword revved on my crotch nonstop going <laughs> and it will not quit. And it, it's just, pretty accurate, it will not run out of gas. That's like, fair enough. It's, it's fucking tough. But yeah, so I, I, I don't know what your guys' experience is, is with it so far. I, I don't know how long, how far you've got, gotten into it. Like I said, I've, I've gotten like two or three um, actual story missions into it. And I've played a little bit, a, a very small amount of co-op. Um, so whatever same, the mode is the same thing I, I played three missions uh three campaign missions and i played one mission of the one mission of co-op right when uh you get to actually play other missions mm -hmm. with the uh, with with like, just random people yours was one thing i will right no didn't you no like it wasn't forced it, oh, it okay. just allowed, no. it allowed me to actually play the co-op of another mission of some soldiers that were doing yeah something. so oh, okay. So essentially what they have two different styles of co-op, right? You can play co-op where it, when it, when it comes down to like the actual game, like the game storyline. Right. But mm -hmm. the only problem with that is that you're locked to the characters inside of the, uh, the actual game. Good. So you're locked mm -hmm. into Titus, you're locked into, I can't remember the other, the other, the other, There's uh, two uh, other characters. Names. I forgot their names, <clears throat> but yeah. you're, yeah, you're locked, you're locked into them. With the other co-op mode, I can't remember the name of it. With that other co-op mode, you're basically you're playing as you're still playing very select, uh, like other members, like uh, other Space Marines. But you have more customization of those Space Marines. With with the with the actual gameplay uh, version of co-op, you don't have a ton of customization, right? With the other one, you have like full customization. You can go in there, build your build your kit out how you want it to be built. Um, full customization of your armor. Uh, full full customization of perk points, which I think you also have in in the main co op as well, uh, or in the main storyline as well. Um, but the the cool thing about that is is like you're essentially playing a separate kill squad of space marines that are in the same area that Titus is is in doing the main you're playing like an main offshoot, mission. like a side like you're, a, you're playing a secondary yeah. team oh, that's, cool. that's doing a secondary objective on the same map that Titus is doing while he's doing the main mission. That's kind of main cool. mission storyline stuff. So I, I found that kind of cool. So it's, it's one of those situations of like, you're going to miss a little bit when it comes down to like the, uh, the, the main storyline and everything like that. You're going to you're going to miss some like interactions if you don't play the storyline, but mm -hmm. I don't think it's that like severe. You're, so, you're still going to get the basic gist of the storyline. If, if you play that other, that other co-op mode essentially. So, so depending on how you play the game is at least it, it does a good job of warning you. Hey, Listen, if you play does, if you play yeah. this multiplayer or you play this other game mode, you might it's warning spoilers. They put it in big letters to tell you, yeah. hey, if you play these other things, 
you might won't ruin the story for you. So I, me personally, recommend get with some of your friends, especially if you're going to play on the highest difficulty, get with some of your friends, run through the story, the, the campaign first, and then choose to do all of the side things. I have yet, however, I don't know about uh, Enigma. Have you played the PvP yet? I haven't played the PvP yet. No, not I haven't yet. touched um, the PvP as, as as well. I don't know how the PvP is really going to work, just due to the fact of it's there's it's, no it's cover just, system. It's just, you feel what I'm yeah, saying? It's just Space Marines versus Space Marines. It's just it's just an all out brawl essentially. So like the first one. I tried to get to like I tried to get through the fucking tutorial fast enough so I could get to the PvP because I knew that of none of you guys you were going to play it, and so I was like, yeah, so I was like, all right, screw it, I'll go play it because. I mean, I care about the story, but I don't. I don't care enough about it to be like, "Hey, it's gonna ruin some yeah, of my experience." Know. Like, look, look, I do. I like stories. the Wu Kong story is fucking amazing. I, I and I'm not gonna say it. this story is not 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 good. Yeah, Hold on, Enigma. Goddamn, I'm not saying it's fucking bad. I was say- I'm just saying that I'm not like if if I can go and ruin someone's day in PvP and I'm gonna screw up with my story, I'm okay with that. I, yeah, I couldn't even you, fucking would you do that, that if Wu Kong had PvP. Would you yes, say that if Wu Kong had absolutely. PvP? Absolutely. <laughs> if I, I, in fact, <laughs> Wu Kong should add fucking invasion uh, mode and let me go fuck people up. Like I am completely okay know. with that. Um, hmm. But yeah, but, the, the story the storyline so far from what I've seen is gonna be is gonna be amazing. Uh, just the the two or three storyline missions that I've done so far, um, I've caught myself just like looking off in the distance at like stuff going on in the distance because they do a really good job with like skyboxes and everything like that um there's one mission I'm, I'm not gonna i'm not gonna spoil anything but there's one section of a mission where you're out you're overlooking like a uh, like an expanse outside of this 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 military base right and you've got to you've got to shoot these missiles out there and you can watch like all the uh the the swarms of terminids coming in at you as the bombs are coming down and it's mm-hmm. it's a fucking it's gorgeous it's amazing it's really I, nice. I love it <laughs> <laughs> the, the graphics are good. The the gameplay is good. This this is my first ever, and this is the thing. Enigma's played a lot of Warhammer, Space Marines, or just Warhammer games. This legitimately is like my first ever Warhammer game, and I'm interested in the story to a maximum just because I don't know what is going on. I'm I'm confused. Like I'm just like, all right, cool. But shit ton of lore. There's there's a lot going on. There's I'm... lore. I'm really interested. It's like a mix between Gears of War, World War Z with the the the, the they're, they're called Terminants, right? Yeah. Terminants. Yeah, yeah. With the with the, with the the the, the Terminants. Term, yeah. Like there's so many aspects to this game. A parry system. They've done a lot. And I'm really like, I'm really excited about this. Like, this is a day one buy for at least me, just due to the fact that I I, I enjoyed it just from start to finish. I, and I'm going to go back and play more of the early access. Um, Even when I thought, like, they were done, like, showing me different things, when you get into the multiplayer system, there's different Marines to play with. You got a sniper. Yeah. You got, you got a, like, a Bastion. You got a heavy gunner. You got a Vanguard. You got... There's different classes. I just thought it was just, oh, you, they're giving you a, a sword and, and some guns, and hey, fuck shit up. But that's not it. There's there's different things to actually do. So I'm interested. And the customization is fucking crazy. Like this, so I, There was a lot of customization that I wasn't expecting to be in the game. Like well, lot, You can lot, really make your, your Marine your own. A lot of that comes, so, comes from the fact that like uh, Warhammer... Uh, before it was a video game, obviously it, it has its books and it's got, you know, there's a shit ton of lore, right? But it, it's a tabletop game. Like War, Warhammer yeah. is a tabletop, gotcha. uh, you know, um, where you, you get minis, you paint them. Like, it's all about the customization, making them, you know, you your talk, own, making your own army. You, 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 talk, you talk about like a, a, a fan, like a, knowing about the Warhammer universe. I don't know shit in comparison to my buddy Solid. Solid does Warhammer like he he paints the minis. He goes on on a weekly basis and does like the the actual like battles at his local game shop. <laughs> that, mm, that's that, wow, that dedication. Man, that that He's man has yeah. spent the last like two years. He, he the, the one one year I, I think it was like a year ago. He was like, you know what, I'm gonna stop playing video games and I'm just gonna dedicate like 900 percent of my time to painting minis and doing Warhammer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I I, uh, I really I really do want to pick this up though. I mean, from a standpoint of not playing and just like looking at it visually, uh, this game looks stunning. Like 
from from just the way you operate as as the uh what, what are they called titans or no, uh, they're space, space marines space, space or marines. It's, space it's marines literal, oh, literally titans the title. before Sorry. Titus is I, the I, name I, of the of the space Titus, I, okay. <laughs> so um i obviously i don't have any knowledge of, of space marines either You're good, um but no it looks sick like the whole power aspect they give you of being this just absolute hulk of a, a being is is sick especially when it comes to i love that um that like side angle like gun uh finisher move right i'm yeah. sorry there it is, yep. that is so good, cool cinematic the executions man i want to i want to play the, this game that's just that's the entire that. game like Damn. that's the entire game man like they yeah, literally it. they I, I don't actually like it when they do those kinds of things in a lot of games when they have like cinematic like finishing yeah. moves because it, it, it pulls it me, me out of the immersion yes yeah, but in but this, this one they do an actually really good job of it like i, I feel like they, yeah. it's, it's meaty enough that i'm like yeah I could 100 percent see yeah. a fucking it's like space on a level just grabbing like, one of these guys by a tail and slamming him into the. Fucking... How about like the, I even I even thought the, the new dooms like were kind of did the same thing where it kind of took me out of things you know see? like the, out of the combat but this does it so flawlessly where even if you're in the middle of it you get right back to it right after and like, see that's yeah. what I thought I thought this game reminded me a lot of Doom like with with the with the with fact the that especially the executions the executions, the executions for... was just like the 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 chef's kiss but what really did this for me was just playing. And then the score of music while you're playing as well, yep. like the, the music oh, that goes off while you're playing. Oh yeah, it's so fucking good. Nice. Like well, as I'm playing, that's, I'm just sitting there and I'm listening. and I'm just like, yo, this is. Um, that's why I'm saying, man. This like, is impressive. This, this for me is my game of the year already, and I don't see that changing. I, I mean, obviously, I I could pick up, I uh, you know, Wukong and and change my mind. I I might just do that, but yeah. like so far, this right here, this is my get it. like this. This is Why the game that I play. I, is Wukong nobody is not a game that I would really play. <laughs> fighting for kill the Justice League is game of the year. What the fuck, oh man? God. <laughs> right? God damn um, it. I, I see. I can't speak. To, I can't speak to the fucking changing of the colors. I can't speak to the customization or the different class. I, I, I before the podcast, I literally just got done with the fucking training mission. So I don't get the experience. The yeah. music. No, they, I don't get they've none got of that like shit. all. all like like all, all the customization um a lot of the customization is locked behind like actually having to play the game and unlock it but there's no as far as i've seen at least right now there's no microtransactions i don't think they're they have any microtransactions other than the uh the uh the dlcs that you can buy whatever the the dlc armors that you can unlock right yeah there's um, dlc but, armors i saw those but all, all of the factions like like all the colors and all the armors that you can you can unlock that's all factions of space marines so if you're somebody like solid that has like a favorite faction of space marine like the reapers or or i think there was one that was called like the uh, i was watching bird black play the other night and he was like i want i want my damn space sharks and i was like what the fuck is a space shark, space shark. there is there's a faction of, of space marine that are called space sharks. i can't remember the name of them it's like the, the scientific name for a specific type of shark but they they are actually they have a shark on their pal pauldrons and they're they're uh they're colored like a great white like they have the, the white belly with the with the, like really light blue so actually, if you're a, if you're a fan already. of that kind of stuff yeah if you're mm. a fan of that kind of stuff and you have like a favorite faction it's probably in the game you can probably make your 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 space marine look exactly like the faction that you personally play so i mean awesome. they, they, that's, they, they, that's they knew what they were going for when they when they made this game like they, they knew the audience that they were targeting they knew what they wanted oh, yeah. right they, they wanted it to be well, visceral they wanted gore they wanted you to feel like i know tony when i was watching you stream um, one of the things that you were talking about was like, you know, you're this big, massive, you know, fucking Hulk of a, of a Marine, right? You got these, mm -hmm. you know, and then realizing the size comparison when, you know, you're looking at another human who is, you know, you're towering over, but you like, they do a very good job of making your like your movement feel heavy, but not to the point where it's clunky. You don't feel no, like everything. That was the feels, main question. Like everything feels very deliberate. It feels like, mm -hmm. you know, again, you are this super soldier in this, you know, hulking gear and trying to just kind of will your way through all of this shit. Um, and it feels so, very fluid. So when watching Enigma right now, what he's doing, this, this horde, that's, this reminded me of World War Z. Yeah. Like just yeah, having so many. Yeah. And at first yeah. I was like, are they, can, can I shoot them? And then as wait, they wait, get closer, I was like, real? holy. Yeah, these, these are, are all real, real enemies, yeah. bro, and they they're you'll, you'll, see, you'll see me start you. shooting at them here in a minute. That's big, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. And they they, right they come big. up the walls, they come up the walls like like the World War Z zombies, and and you throw grenades to to keep them off the walls and then bust them down. It's so good. But what 
was the question for a lot of people during stream. It was, hey, that's a big character. Is it is it clunky? Do do you feel? I was like, bro, the controls are fluid. Like you are very think, fluid when you're moving I, I, about. I, in my opinion, yeah. I was I was about to say, I, I think you feel you feel clunky enough to like 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 Sin said, you feel clunky enough to for it to be believable that you're this giant fucking 10 and a right. half foot 12 foot fucker in like 3000 pounds of armor right that's what the that's what space marines are they're like mm -hmm. 10 and a half eight, probably even larger in like tons of armor that's <laughs> <laughs> but from a game aspect, you're still, you know, feeling able, like, yeah, you're able you don't to move feel around that, no. and not, yeah. not as held down. Yeah. And I, I actually think that part of this is going to turn some people off because, or, or it's going to be a little bit of a culture shock um, when you do play it because the, like you, you have a, a, you know, like a dodge mechanic, right. And, and all, of it. but the, here's the thing, you, like I coming from games like, uh, you know, black Myth Wukong or, uh, God of War or any of these other, you know, inner souls like style game, you're expecting like your dodge is going to be like a fucking iframe roll or yeah. like a big, like mm -hmm. you're going to like really mm -hmm. get out the way. And you, and it, it took me a moment to be like, cause I, at first I was like, I fucking hate this dodge. It's not fucking what I want. But then I had to like take this step back and be like, hold on one second. I am this guy yeah. in a 3000 pound suit of armor. What I'm not expect? just going to be fucking rolling yeah. around like crazy, For sure. you know, That'd so silly. Yeah. you, you kind of have to equate it to like a fat roll in Elden Ring or Dark Souls as that, like, that is what that, um, you know, m dodge mechanic is. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, again, yeah. I, I'm excited for the PvP. I'm excited for all of it. I'm, ex but I'm definitely excited for the PvP. I'm, I enjoyed the. First I'm PvP. actually. Th this is this is probably one of the one of the first games that I'll probably join you for PvP because I, I I enjoyed Space Marines PvP the little bit that I was able to play for the first one. So yeah. that was it was. I mean, it was fun. It was good. Um, and Tony, so you know, just so you kind of have an idea of how like expansive this universe is right so you remember that game that uh that you played with or like you picked up was that cart racer or that cart like uh twisted metal style game that Enigma was talking about a few episodes back mm -hmm. okay that that's in the warhammer universe yeah speed freaks that's yeah. in the warhammer universe but that is in the warhammer that's in that's, that's in this universe oh is it for 40k? 40k it's in 40k yeah, okay yeah. so it's in it's in 40k <laughs> right but then you have like a, like you have a fantasy style Warhammer, which is in a completely different, you know, version. Then you have like, again, 40 K there's also, if you just go into steam right now and type in Warhammer, you're going to get a fucking laundry list of different games yes, that all are, are fucking for the most part, really good. Like they, 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 they have a, a mechanic that they want to hit on. Um, and they do really, really well. Like if you like XCOM, there is the, uh, the storm brigade, I think is the name of that one. If you like Diablo style, there's inquisitor. If you want Space Marine, there's this, you know, like more gears. I mean, th there's, there's. Or Vermintide. Yeah, Vermintide. Yeah. yeah. So um, they, they do. Not a, the verses. Uh, don't do verses yet. But they do a very good <laughs> job. <laughs> there's there's a, a lot here. So um, again, obviously, we're, we've just scratched the surface of the game. Uh, we, we haven't gone super, super deep with it. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll, I'm sure, be talking about this next week as well as we do get into like the PvP um, mode and, and things Bro, like that. Bro, this 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 first boss as well this was this was amazing i i fucking love this like the the arena of just being like dropping down and having to fucking take on just these these little tiny dudes and then all of them jumping over that fucking uh opening and then the big guy in the in the corner when he finally spawns i was just like this is fucking dope please, please, please <laughs> just for my own sanity and manhood tell me that this difficulty that you're playing on right now is the veteran difficulty and not the angel angel and angelic angel of death uh mode no this is this is no this is veteran yeah this, this okay, is okay because i was about to be like this, bro this is... <laughs> you made me look yeah. like i was a fucking bitch no so. yeah no veteran was was 100 percent man more manageable than than the uh, the angel of death um yeah i was having a little bit of issues with the the boss and like that but i think that was mostly just a dude to dodging uh in in the in the secondary one the biggest problem that i had was just like uh, getting ganged up on like having too much shit around me and then having like the two of these guys you, you see i struggle with this right here because i've got two of them on me and i'm just like oh i don't know what i'm doing yeah <laughs> so one thing i one thing i want to bring to people's attention i don't know if you had this issue enigma when we play multiplayer the parry system is really weird sometimes 
when uh, I, was... I think it's I think it's due to latency. I think they, yeah, they're having a little bit of a latency problem. issue. Um, mm-hmm. We've been we've been myself and and I uh, and and Solid have been having issues all day with like and, and granted that that might be my connection. Obviously, we've been having connection issues all night tonight. I uh, but we've been mm-hmm. having issues with like him dropping from uh, co-op lobbies. I uh, I've had a lot of issues with like interacting with things. Like whenever you have to go up to like a uh, like a a fucking uh, interaction point, like opening a door, I'll sit there and I'll be like spamming E and I can't fucking hit it. Like, <laughs> so. it's true, yeah. let, let me this 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 game does do something that I absolutely fucking hate, and specifically with this fight. Now I'm I'm actually interested to get your guys' opinion on it. Um, this is a and this is uh. I mean, it's a tutorial. This is the very beginning. It's a tutorial. If you don't want to hear this one, it's not a spoiler, but like, if you don't want to hear this one small thing, mute for like literally five seconds and then come back. Um, so I'm going to count it down. One, two, three, four, five, mute. This game forces you to die like in this. And I hate that. Like, are you able to beat this boss? It, I'm assuming no, no right? It, it, a lot so of no. That. So I, I, lot, I, I again, yeah. I don't I don't want to go too deeply into detail about it, but it's a it's a story reason why you die. No, you have I, I know, to die right, yeah, to yeah. move into the next portion of the game. So yeah. Yeah. I just I hate when games do that. Like I don't I don't like being forced to die. Like it would be cool. It it would be cool if it was more like Dark Souls where like even even the tutorial boss you're able to beat if you can do it. But that would just that would just completely it. fuck the story. Yeah, right. <laughs> and which once this happens, That's we're about to. Pretty, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and, and cut the cut the 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 video because I don't want to go any farther than than what yeah. is shown there. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, look, like the game. Um, I definitely think it has contender to be game of the year for sure. It does. Um, you know, will it win game of the year? I don't know. Um, it's it's, I, I imagine Wukong. there's a lot of contenders, man. Wukong I, I has been Wukong doing is too win. well. Yeah. It has been doing but, too uh, well on. So yeah, for, for me personally, yeah. When, when we do when we do our game of the year, this will win my game. This, of the year. this I, is standing there for you. Yeah. I, I but but again, that's just because I haven't played Wukong yet. So like, yeah. I, I might change my mind if I ever get a hold of Wukong and I play it and I, I enjoy it, which I probably would. But I mean, I mean, yeah, I think you so enjoy, far, I think you'd enjoy Wukong year. more than you would enjoy something like Elden Ring or whatever because it's it's more probably. along the lines of God of War than it is. I mean, yes, yes. it's got some Souls like elements to it, but it is very more yeah. God of War than it is um you know uh dark souls for sure yeah um this game i don't know i mean it's i think that i think the biggest thing is that the so i think the clunkiness of the character model of like what they're supposed to be is going to turn some people off right i think that the shooting is probably going to turn some people off um and i think I, i think that the controls are going to turn people off because it's it like turned, I, the controls turn turned me off right, when, when I first started playing. It, it took a lot of getting used to, so I, I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, yeah. I also would say that forcing you to load Epic <laughs> Game Launcher oh. or whatever. I didn't want to bring it up. That I, is, I, I, didn't, I didn't want to bring it up, but that pissed yeah, me so off. I, 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 I thought that it, load Epic. Yeah. It, you well, to, no, you you have to. Load so it, 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 it forces something. you to download Epic's architecture, like their multiplayer architecture. Um, mm-hmm. which made no fucking sense to me because I'm like, this is this is, is ridiculous. I'm playing I'm playing on Steam. Crazy. Why do I have to have Epic architecture? I th- um, I think it's because it, I, so I, it, <laughs> it goes through pros or pros, which uh, Scruffy, if you remember, that is the same multiplayer uh back end system that um Dead Island or Dead, Dead Rising, yeah, uh, Tiny the Tina's new, used the, it too. The new one, um, Dead Rising. If used. I remember correctly, didn't they? um, so uh, I don't, I don't know if they use pros, but I do know, like I said, I know for a fact that that is the one that because I had to load so into that to get some of the special stuff. Yeah, gotcha. That's owned by Epic. I, I guess but, I'm, I don't know, but be. I'm assuming. But yeah. You, yeah. you don't, it doesn't force it doesn't, you yeah. to sign up for a pros account. It just, it just forces you to download their architecture for it. Gotcha. And I think you think pisses right. me off. But, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, well, um, I, as, as, as long as they didn't make me fucking download the Epic game store. You, uh, like <laughs> <laughs> you, guys, you guys sold me. I, I really want to get in this one. So I, I did just pre-purchase the, uh, the standard edition. So I'll, I'll be there on the ninth. Hey, there you go, Damn broke boy. We'll broke boy can't we'll join us there, today. Brother. He's gonna join us yeah, on the night. yeah. I gotta, I gotta wait. All right, guys. So uh, I gotta. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Well, I mean, the yeah. only three people can play at a time, so I mean, it's it's at least there on the. Yeah. I don't know about the PVP. PVP may be more than that, but I know the, the PVP is, I believe. PVP. 
I need. I believe PvP is three v three. It might be five v five. I'm not entirely sure though. I Thank you for checking out the patch notes. If you enjoyed this small selection from our podcast, come join us every Thursday at 10.30 p.m. Eastern for the full unfiltered pre-patch podcast. And check out our past shows on anchor.fm slash pre-patch podcast.